It all started in June 2008 in my hometown of Dexter, Michigan. I instantly became interested in the family radio service and general mobile radio service radios, more commonly referred to as walkie-talkies. Since I had no lessons of any kind, I was restricted to transmit on only the FRS channels. I tried to talk to as many people as possible, however the range was only limited to two miles, only part of our small village. As I bought more and more two-way radios from my ever-growing collection, there was a time where I had 16 total radios. It is our first four-way convo of the year 2009, and all of the Carlsons are present and accounted for. However, in November, I suddenly got bored with this low coverage and wanted to hear more activity from other cities through radio. My grandma gave me his husband's police scanner, as he passed away seven months before this offer. He used to hear his local law enforcement agencies in northern Michigan for over two decades. I did find some police and fire channels within 50 miles of my local area, but I was interested in the amateur or ham radio frequencies the most. I thought the first ham radio repeater or complex set of devices designed to extend radio range that I've ever heard was a children's spelling game coming from its controller. when I found out it was the repeater's legal identification. I also found that people can talk on repeaters while simultaneously transmitting on another frequency and that these repeaters can identify in Morse code. Speaking of Morse code, I decided to learn Morse code in December of 2008. I also bought more and more police scanners. In the last weekend of June 2009, I found out about an event called Field Day, where thousands of radio amateurs across the US and Canada make as many contacts as possible during a 24 hour period. It was at the Ann Arbor site that I met my Elmer, or mentor, Dan, with a call sign of KB6NU. How fast can you go? Probably like 30 words. Oh, really? He's my man. Far out. Wow. Wow. The next day, he taught me how to send Morse code. Okay, oh, you're good. You never did this before? No. After I took my license exam and received the call sign of KD8LWR, I nervously checked in into my first net or on the air meeting. Chilo Delta 8, Lima, Whiskey Romeo, Stewart. Dexter. Hey, let me see if I just got this right. It was Kilo, Delta 8, Lima, Whiskey, Romeo, uh, Stewart, and Dexter. Okay, excellent. Thank you for uh, checking in tonight. Nice to meet you, Stewart. Over the years, I became more and more comfortable with my radio environment and found plenty of friends. I started to collect many radios, from handhelds to bass radios. I even put up my own Simplex repeater, which is a repeater that transmits on one frequency at different times. This is Dexter's only amateur radio repeater, the KD8LWR Simplex repeater system. My future goals are to upgrade my license and create a traditional repeater. I have to do so in the many years of life I have left.